Well, it was apparent that I'm at this undisclosed location and they just called me. Let me see if I can dial you in here. You see that pinhole? You see that? See the water coming and spraying out? It looks like it was banged right there at one time. Oh, gotta focus you. Yeah, right there, pinhole leak. So we're gonna drill a mechanical tee right there and thankfully I have a mechanical tee right there. So let's drill this. Thankfully, there's so much to be thankful for. It's on the bottom, I can see it. All right, let's get to work. Okay, it is apparent that I drilled a new mechanical tee, but you know, you think something's easy, but you see that bit right there? Yeah, that's it. I kept breaking pilot bits. I think it was because of the weird angle that this thing was on, but there you go. There's your new pinhole leak. So whenever you have a pinhole leak, you find out where it's leaking and you just drill a saddle and plug it. That's the easiest way to, you can get a repair clamp, but those sometimes leak too. So there you go. One pinhole leak fixed with a side of broken bits. You know, just nothing's easy. Oh, and that, sorry, OSHA, my chain is not, that's very dangerous. You saw it here first, but yeah, water's on, this thing is, and you can see, I always put a little mark with the, out the rubber without the gasket, and I know right where that saddle is gonna seat. All right. Well, as always, I wanna thank you for coming along with me on these pinhole saddle plug-in adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love. It's hot up here. And all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. I said, bye. Hope it is they're doing work down there on the TI where that bathroom is and every day they're draining this thing and so it's filling up full of air so at this location here they got a pinhole so that's the one I just fixed right there two by one mechanical T with a one inch plug so I'll walk underneath it because that will always tell you something is dripping and we see that that is dry but there is a little bit of water from the pinhole but anyway there you go let's uh hit the road in that bad boy and get out of here that was a pit stop move i i really hurried on that one that's one of those nascar moves like do, 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 do. done don't tell anybody I can work that fast. All right, you know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, it is apparent that we got some loaded fire sprinkler heads here. If you ever want to see what a loaded fire sprinkler head looks like, well, there you go. But as you can see, we got about one, two, three, four, five. All these are loaded. Okay, this head is really loaded. You can see it's probably got about a half inch worth of dust on it. So there's no way that I can really pass these. Now, the secret is, well, I can't tell you the secret, but do you clean the escutcheon too? Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, oh, look at, this is why I come up here. I'm doing one last look around and I left some all thread. Every piece counts. I didn't show any work today. I didn't want to film anything, but here's what had to happen. I had to move, these heads were too close. Those were closer than six feet. So I moved that head six feet and of course i had to add a hanger up in there let me turn on the old flashlight there you go there's your hanger and the rod's touching you like that so that's six foot two away and then i added these two heads we're just adding not center tile or anything so boom boom small room rule i move this Okay, this looks okay, four inches off the wall. 
added these two. Relocate, relocate. Beautiful. This is all dry. Added that one. Fix these two. Beautiful. Yeah. This looks good. Looks good. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these moving head around adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that heavy jazz. Bye bye. Everybody. Okay, it is apparent that I'm here at the pool house and they do have a leak of some kind. There's the fire sprinkler right there. And here's the leak. So the only way I can really get to that pipe is to tear open that hole right there. Well, we've got to do it. Let's do it. Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. I'm trying to find a leak today and I'm not having any luck. I just tore open the ceiling and uh, tore open is the right thing. I took the saws on, just cut this electrical on accident. I think it feeds this electric motor for the skylight. And probably that light, I don't know. But I ripped all this open by the fire sprinkler and there is no water on this side. The water kind of drips down this way, but all the water seems to be coming from way back here. I'm gonna stick the camera up there and see what I can see. Poke you up inside this hole. Doesn't see anything up in here. I don't know, I'll keep tearing that apart, but that's what the, the wet part is. I don't see anything this way, it seems to be dry. Maybe this is dry. Alright, damn it, Jim. It's always something. And I didn't mean to do that, but. I'm in trouble. Well, it is apparent that I'm waiting on my helper. And he's not the fastest guy, but that's not what bugs me. What bugs me is he just cut this drop. And I went to go tighten the head here. Let me turn on the old flashlight. I'm going to go tighten this head. And look it. The drop is loose. So we can't have that. And he just texted me and said, give me a couple minutes. He had to go take a shit or sit in the bathroom. It's 106 degrees out there. So some people like to sit in that bathroom, but he just texted me, give me a couple minutes. What's up with that? So I'm on this lift waiting for him to come fix his, whatever this is, loose adjustable drop. And this video is turning into a minute long and it's already been five minutes since I've been waiting on them. But we've been cutting all these heads and this system's all trapped, so. Ah, there he is. So let's uh, go ahead and have a little talk, shall we?